Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for Saturday, November 20th, 2021. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number two. We can see the High Priestess card kick in. I'm also seeing the Two of Swords in my mind's eye as well, and the Two of Cups. Let's see here. Power of number four. We can see the Emperor card kick in. Possibly the Four of Wands. You okay, Toto? Possibly the Four of Wands and or the Four of Cups. Power of number 12, you can see the Hanged Man card kick in. So yeah, some of you guys are still in flux and suspension in regards to your, your specific person, okay? Adding up the numbers, looks like we are going to the power of number 18 again. Yesterday's reading, the roll of the dice, we had three, six, nine, no, I'm sorry, three, nine, six, brought us to the number 18. So we could see the moon card show up, things that are hidden behind the scenes. There could have been some deception, lies, things like that. Uh, possibly working in on our shadow self. And not only that, too, we are in this full moon in the sign of Taurus with a lunar eclipse Scorpio in our house. Okay, so this is going to be, you know, some major energy, major changes um, for us Scorpios. Okay, so, you know... This full moon time, it's start manifesting, okay? Um, be consistent in everything that you do, Scorpio, okay? Um, because we're almost ready to wrap up this end of this uh, year of 2021. I do feel that there's going to be massive major changes for 2022, okay? Anything that you have been dreaming about, wishing for, etc., <clears throat> a lot of these things are going to come into play in 2022 as well. So this is the time to start manifesting big time. Okay. So we could see the justice card show up. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra straight up. And yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born in the month of November. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius born at the latter part of November. Power of number eight circulating in there. You could be dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of of August, so we could also see the strength card. Power of number two, which was on the uh, roll of the dice, the first roll. High Priestess, like I said, could show up. I saw the two of cups and the two of swords. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius and or a Pisces throughout the month of February. Power of number four, you could be dealing with a Aries and or a Taurus. We may even see Temperance. Temperance show up. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with them Sagittariuses. Some patience is still needed. We may see any of the tens kick in because when I look at the eight and the two spirits ask me to add those numbers, so I'm seeing the power of number 10. We could see the Wheel of Fortune card. Some of you guys are dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, and or another Scorpio such as yourself. Looking for any other... Okay, some of you could have been born in 1981, 1982, or 1984. Could have graduated in 1981, 1982, 1984. I'm hearing the song from Footloose. Now i got to cut Footloose. Footloose. Some of, when I hear that song in my head, some of you guys could be feeling restless right now and not enough relaxation and we can also see the world card karmic cycles and lessons that need to come to an end or somebody needs to learn their lessons family generations family tree family history 
There could be karmic family members that have come in between you and your specific person, Scorpio. Unfortunately, some of you guys had to walk away from karmic family recently and over this past year and even late last year of 2020. Okay. <clears throat> Power of number 18, you guys. Let's see what's up with your specific person. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18. Okay. Trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers for the day commencing for Saturday, November 20th, 2021. What is going on in the energy right now with Scorpio specific person, the one that they think about the most, the one that they spent time with, were involved with, that they might have walked away from, or this person walked away from Scorpio? What's going on in their energy, please? Oh, they are getting their karmic lessons and cycles. I did say we could see the justice card, but guess what, you guys? The justice card is coming up in the reverse. Some variable messages I'm picking up. They're going to get, quote unquote, payback, we'll say, for their lies and their deception. Okay, for some of them. All right, now. I do also feel that this person does definitely need to come forward and tell you the truth on everything, Scorpio. I am seeing a touch of the Page of Cups in my mind's eye. Now I'm seeing the Five of Cups and Judgment card. Somewhere in the mix of it all. Somebody's person, this is for a very specific group or percentage of a storyline that some of you guys could be going through. Somebody could have been denied parole. If your person was in jail, they could have been denied parole. I'm picking this up. Somebody's person could have went to jail, violated uh, certain things. They didn't play by the rules. So that's the reason why I'm picking up that somebody didn't get parole. So they have to spend more time in jail. So if the Eight of Swords comes up, that would resonate very true. Okay? We'll see. We'll see. That's not for everybody. That's, that's just a very specific message. You got to see why justice is in the reverse. Ooh, not a good thing, Scorpio, in regards to your person. Or they're just learning their lessons. They could be learning their karmic lessons very heavily right now. We're, we're still in the season of Scorpio. And Scorpio is about change, transformation, endings, and rebirth. Mm. Let's take a look. Trusted ancestors, why, 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 why is justice in the reverse for Scorpio specific person? What's going on? Oh, you know, I just, I just heard this message from spirit. Um, if your person is in the middle of a divorce or on the verge of getting divorced, whoever they're dealing with this karmic ex or maybe soon to be ex-wife soon to be ex-husband but their current wife or current husband somebody's giving your person a very difficult time i'm picking up on arguments because i'm seeing the five of wands in my mind's eye side that's a side note okay <clears throat> why is scorpio's person coming in as justice in the reverse Okay.
Okay, somebody could have lied to your person as well. Somebody's ass is getting kicked to the curb. The Five of Pentacles is coming up in the reverse of my hand. So somebody wants to return back to you, Scorpio. But I also do feel somebody's ass got kicked to the curb. So you know what? I'm seeing this energy in both directions. I'm going to place it sideways. One for the upright, one for the reverse, okay? So I'm going to put this right over here. I'll turn this just a little bit. There we go. Scorpio's person coming in is justice in reverse. Ha! <sighs> Called it out, you guys. Page of Cups. Power of the numbers, you guys. It came up in the reverse. Okay, this person is battling, telling you the truth on something here. Or they were they were getting some form of lies and or deception. Mm-hmm. In their hub, in their environment. This is what I'm picking up. It could be embarrassment. Some of them, their pride may be taking over right now because whatever you told them, Scorpio, you could have forewarned this person. A lot of you did. You forewarned this person about being involved with whoever it is that they're dealing with. And their pride and their ego, I feel, is kicking in big time. But that's going to hit them up royally. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Some of you guys, I'm picking up very strongly. Uh, you guys are dealing with an Aries. They're hard-headed, stubborn. That's what I'm picking up for some of you guys. Oh, my God. So for the Five of Pentacles in the upright, Five of Pentacles in the reverse, let's see why this person's communication is immature right now or why they haven't come forward with a rightfully owed apology. Mm. Uh, Spirit's telling me to say this, and I hate saying this word, but some of these people that you've dealt with before, Scorpio, they're narcissists. Or this could also be family members that you've walked away from, Scorpio. This is a side note. If you walked away from particular family members, um, their apology, if they try to come in and apologize, I'm feeling that this apology is not sincere. Especially if they did you wrong. Okay. Justice in the reverse. Mm, mm, mm. What's on the bottom of the deck? The sun card. Ain't no sunshine when he or she is gone, Scorpio. But this person in their environment, they could be getting... Yeah, I feel like this person's getting hit up royally with karma. Nothing's going right. Not according to my cards, the way things are going in today's reading so far. We shall see. Let's take a look at this Five of Pentacles. Um... In the upright, five of pentacles in the upright and picking up trusted ancestors that somebody's ass got kicked to the curb. What's going on here? Ah, sign of Aries energy coming in through the fool card. Yeah, somebody made some really bad, 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 bad decisions. They're taking uncalculated chances, uncalculated risks. This person could have been a risk taker. And you know, when I was picking up on the energy frequency that maybe if somebody's person's in jail, yeah, they were risky. And if they're not getting parole right now, it's because either they didn't, they didn't learn their lesson. Somebody was a fool or somebody that they are dealing with kicked their butt to the curb. Could have been an Aries. Mm. Show me the Five of Pentacles in the reverse with somebody returning back to Scorpio. What's up with this? Why? Oh, uh, yeah. It's turning. What did I just say? Returning back to Scorpio. Here you guys are. The death card. Here you are. Here we are, Scorpio. Right here. Mm -hmm. They don't want something to end now. Mmm. Man, I tell you what, this person, some of their, you guys, some of these 
partners that you dealt with before in the past or this person that you're dealing with. They have a huge, I'm picking up a huge ego, huge ego. Message from the Page of Cups in the reverse. Why won't this person just yet apologize to Scorpio or what is holding them back from bringing in a genuine apology? <laughs> oh, my beautiful Scorpios. Yes. Remember in yesterday's reading how I said that they're nervous they're, because they, they're, they have fear of rejection? I feel like a little bit of that energy is tying in today because guess what? Remember I said, Nine of Swords. This person is all up in their freaking head. Knowing perfectly well, they're a grown ass woman or a grown ass man. They know exactly what they did. They know exactly what they did. They're stressing out about, I'd say, how to bring you the truth. Somebody left your person. This is what I'm picking up on. Or it's on the verge of happening, Scorpio. I feel like this person saying Scorpio was right. Scorpio was right. Scorpio was right. Mm. They're embarrassed. This is what I'm picking up. They're embarrassed. Because this means that this person has to swallow their pride. They have to swallow their pride now. Wow. Imagine that. Some of you guys are dealing with other water signs. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. I've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm going to end up clarifying that Nine of Swords. Okay. Moment of truth. Trusted ancestors, why is this person struggling with owning up to the responsibilities Owning up for their actions towards Scorpio. Why is justice in the reverse? Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> it is the Three of Pentacles. Something is not working out for your person in their environment. Somebody is giving them a hard time. They know that you're right. Now they want to return back to you. Mm. They're not sure if, you're, if you are going to believe their apology or that they're even speaking the truth to you, Scorpio, because the, I think another reason why they're in the Nine of Swords is because they knew of all the lies, the deception. They played you. They played mind games with you, etc. Oh, my God. Wow. The energy sometimes, it just goes from one extreme to the next. Right, Scorpio? Mm. For the fool in reverse. Sign of Scorpio, death card in the reverse. And why are they all up in their head? You know what? I feel compelled to do the three of pentacles here in the reverse. Wow. Let's take a look. Trusted ancestors, this person might have taken an uncalculated chance, uncal uncalculated risk. Or somebody's, somebody's person kicked Scorpio's person to the curb. I'm hearing spirit say somebody found out some information. I'm seeing some paperwork or, or like a legal documentation. Or somebody got a paper that was notarized. Somebody had to go to a notary. Interesting. Show me the fool in the reverse, please. 
Ooh, King of Pentacles. Wow. Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn for some of you guys. This person could have found out that this other person that they were dealing with could have already still been married. Could have been. Or your person might have kicked the karmic to the curb. Something was found. I, I can't help but not feel something was found out. Mm. Message from the sign of Scorpio with the death card in the reverse. Why does Scorpio's person want to return back to them? Well, let's guess, get ready. It's going to happen unexpectedly. The tower. This person had a tower moment as well with whoever they're dealing with. You told them that if they get involved with this person, they got a train wreck coming. That's basically what it is. They have a freaking train wreck coming. A hot mess. Now they're dealing with the fact that The reason why they can't open up to you and bring you in for some of them to bring in a genuine apology. Even though the energy has been there before in my readings, you guys, something happened. Somebody, somebody's person didn't want to pay attention to the red flags. Flat out. Nothing more, nothing less. So now, this person's all up in their head. Why is that? Hmm. Oh. Huh. Variable messages coming in and off of this card. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could have found out that somebody was still married or they were dealing with somebody else. Your person could have found out that that person they were dealing with was dealing with somebody else. Put your person possibly into a third party situation. Somebody got caught. Somebody could have gotten caught in bed with somebody else. That's what I'm also picking up too. And the other thing is. Now they feel a little stuck or trapped because. They're not so sure, again, if you're going to accept their apology. Because, see, even though the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse here, we'll say on the board, okay? Whoever's in the King of Pentacles mode, male or female, doesn't matter. In between this King and the Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Pentacles, Tower card. Now, on the other hand... If your person is dealing with, they're in a married situation, yeah, they've got a massive major ending coming here, okay? And this person is very highly stressed out. This karmic also, too, could be taking your person for everything that they got. And I'm also feeling, too, that there could be a blow up going on, we'll say, of argumentative energy between somebody's person, I'm picking up on a male energy, and their mother. Somebody could have found out some information about their mother. Mm-hmm. Now, they're not sure, Scorpio. They feel like you're going to say no, flat out no to them. So that's where I'm feeling the energy of yesterday's reading coming in through this Nine of Swords. Oh my God, this person I think is having a wake up call to the intuition that you were very much aware of, Scorpio. 
And I think it's literally, it's blowing their mind. You probably could have told them specifically what was going to happen if they left you or however you said it, for some of you Scorpios, okay, that this person was a fool, that they were taking a chance, they were taking a risk, they were repeating the same exact pattern with this other person, thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, and it wasn't. For the King of Pentacles. For the Tower. Mmm. person's energy is all over the place. Feel it when I'm shuffling the cards. Okay, show me this energy of the King of Pentacles in regards to Scorpio's person. Somebody found out something. Somebody had a sneaky ass behavior that was going on. And yes, your person was sneaky with you before in the past. They took a chance. They took an un uncalculated risk to go be with somebody that's a fool and this person turned into a fool for their choices. Then their ass got kicked to the curb or is going to be getting kicked to the curb very soon. Unexpectedly. Somebody found out something. Somebody could have seen somebody cheating. Cheating or your person saw this karmic cheating with somebody else. Ooh, this is a hot mess, you guys. A hot, 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 hot mess. But this all has to come crashing down to the ground. That's probably the reason why also, too, tower card is here. Show me the tower. Yeah. Somebody tried to get away with something. Or now, because they want to return back to you, Scorpio, because we're, we were clarifying Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I said they're going to be coming back to you. It's going to be unexpected. Now they want to move forward with you after all of this deception. Because here's the Seven of Swords. You go from the Seven of Swords to the Six of Swords. Oh, my God. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, see, they think that you have your guard up, Scorpio. This is the reason why they're not coming in right now with an apology just yet. Just yet. Because they're not, they're they're very undecided right now. They are nervous. Again, that energy from yesterday's reading coming in. Coming into this reading. Show me the three of pentacles in the reverse. Huh. They're gonna try it. They're gonna try to attempt to come forward. Page of Pentacles. Or this person's taking whoever they're dealing with could be taking them for everything that they got and or Somebody may come in and try to give you a half-ass apology to Scorpio. They know that they backstabbed and betrayed you. Ten of swords, but it's in the reverse. So again, somebody doesn't want something to end here. Three of Wands in the reverse, technically in my hands. This person's mindset is not right. They're not thinking. Listen, I don't feel like this person is thinking clearly, bottom line. How is it that if somebody's wanting to come in and bring you something or open up to you, a couple variable messages. They may think that the ships are not coming in with you, Scorpio. Okay. Or they could tell you ships didn't come in with them and this person. But it's it, there. there's a hesitation I'm picking up on. It's just a hesitation I'm picking up on that this person, here you are, bottom of the deck, queen of cups, male or female, doesn't matter. <sighs> wow, split in the middle of the deck, four of wands. Um, this person, I feel, does know that you are their soulmate, their twin flame, blah, 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 okay? However, right now, this person, they don't know how to come forward with the truth. 
because you said exactly what was going to happen. They did not listen. And they're all up in their head. Some of them might even be crying at night because you, you forewarned them. And then when all the shit comes crumbling down, they're, here you are at the back of their mind. Now, you're, now your energy and your essence come into the forefront of their mind. So the bottom line, Scorpio, this person is going to struggle telling you the truth. But this is a circus act that's going on. And this all has to come crumbling down to the ground in order for your person to learn a major lesson here. Because some of them haven't. And they're too embarrassed to say you were right because of their pride and ego. Just saying. I'm going to end the reading here. Okay? And we'll move forward. We'll see what tomorrow's energy will be all about. Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading, do it through the power of the numbers. You can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.